before you begin, make sure you're wearing the right safety gear for the site you are working on and tools you are using. The tools you will need are a drill with 3mm bit that is used for pre-drilling the fixing holes, fixing nails or screws that are suitable for your specific installation, a spirit level, a tape measure, a hammer, packers, a mini pinch bar, a Phillips head screwdriver, washers which can be obtained through A&L, clear packers which can be obtained through A&L, a staple gun and staples if flashing is used, and a second pair of hands depending on the size and weight of the product. Before beginning your installation, measure the height, width and depth of the product and that of the opening you're installing into. The size of the opening needs to be 20mm wider and 30mm higher than the product to allow for a square and plumb installation. The overall depth of the product needs to match the cladding type it is being installed into. This will have been determined when the product was ordered, but it never hurts to check twice. You also need to determine if any flashings are required, and if so, what type. We offer a range of standard flashings, but it is up to the builder to decide on how to make the building watertight. If using flashing, it needs to be pulled forward and fixed to the face of the stud. This can be done with a simple staple gun. Finally, it's a good idea to double check if any special installation requirements apply to the product you're installing. These could include specific head heights, special finishing details or coupling to other products. Once all of the cross-checking is complete, it's time to begin the installation. Firstly, place the spirit level on the bottom plate and pack level where the product will sit. If packers are required, fix them into position with brad nails so that they don't move around. Place a mark on the reveal of both jams, 100mm from the top and 100mm from the bottom. Pre-drill a hole at each mark with a 3mm drill bit. Place the product into the opening from the outside. A standard installation allows for 10mm of plaster on the inside, so using a 10mm packer or the thickness of a simple brickies ruler as a guide, overhang the reveal back into the house by 10mm. Fix a nail into the stud through the pre-drilled holes nearest the sill on both sides of the product. Do not nail them in all the way. Fix a nail into the stud through the pre-drilled hole at the top of the reveal. Again, do not nail it in all the way. Repeat on the other side of the product. Holding your spirit level against the jam, check that the product is both square and plumb. Measure the product diagonally in both directions to ensure it is square. Ideally, you want both measurements to be exactly the same, but within a couple of millimetres is okay. Use the pinch bar to gently move the product into the correct position, if required. Before packing and fixing off, it's good to check how the product is operating. Wind out the sash and wind it back in to make sure that both corners of the sash come into contact with the jam at the same time. If one corner hits before the other, there is a slight twist in the horizontal plane. Move the top or bottom corner of the window in or out to align the sash with the jam. Once you are happy with the product's positioning, pack between the reveal and the stud above the nails and drive all the nails home. For taller products, you may need to add additional fixings along the reveals on the jam. If so, follow the same procedure of pre-drilling, packing and fixing, ensuring the reveals remain plumb.